guys. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I wanted to play around with the new Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. So this is the look I came up with. I was really interested in that Pegasus, Pegasus shade. Um, so that is the look I came up with. Everything on my eyes, like all the eyeshadows I'm using, are actually all Makeup Geek. So this is like a Makeup Geeky tutorial. Makeup Geek is so amazing. I love it. Every time I do a look using Makeup Geek shadows, I'm never disappointed. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this full face look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so of course I'm priming with Max Painterly Paint Pot as usual. And then I'm going to set that base with Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Rapunzel. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but I'm just using it to set that paint pot. This is another Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade High Tea. It's a really pretty greenish brown. And this is going to be my transition shade. This honestly gets lost in the makeup, but I do use it in my crease so that all the other colors can blend a little bit better. This is a beautiful shadow called Wisteria. It's such a vibrant purple, I love it. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, just focusing this into my crease, but bringing it a little bit higher in my crease as well. All of the eyeshadows I'm using today are Makeup Geek, by the way. Just letting you know. So this is a foiled eyeshadow in the shade Pegasus. Amazing, palawless, it's so pretty. It's like a teal. Um, these apply best with your fingers, but YOLO. I'm using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Did I just say YOLO? Wow, okay, move along. So I'm just packing this on my entire lid, uh, bringing it right up to the crease. This is Makeup Geek's Corrupt, the blackest black eyeshadow I have ever seen. On a MAC 217, oh by the way, I just applied tape. I completely forgot to show that and mention that, but I applied tape to create kind of like a cat eye. So I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm really focusing this right where the tape meets. And then I'm going to take kind of like a dense, fatter pencil brush and I'm really going to pack this black color really, really close to the tape. I want the outer corners of my eye to appear really, really black and then just fade into that blue. I'm going back into Wisteria. This is just a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to pack more of that color. I'm going to intensify the crease. I want it to be extra purple right up in there. I'm going to pack some more Pegasus on my lid because since we added so many eyeshadows on top and blended so much, a lot of it did get lost. This is another foiled eyeshadow in the shade Fantasy. It's a beautiful silvery green. Very green but light too. I, I love it. It's so pretty. But I'm going to go on top of it with that Rapunzel shade. I love how Rapunzel looks on top of Fantasy. It makes it like a light yellowy green. I don't know. It's really pretty. I like it. I'm also going to use that to highlight my brow bone as well. Okay, so moving on to the face before I finish my eyes. This is the Napoleon Purtis, um Skin Pilot Primer or something like that. It's a really moisturizing primer. I really like it. On top of that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. And I am in the shade Bamboo Beige. Um, when I'm tan, as you can see, my body is tan. So, yeah. For concealer, I'm mixing these two. I'm going to take this NYX HD concealer in the shade Beige. I'm applying that underneath my eyes and then I'm going to add some of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade uh, Fair Neutral or Light Neutral. I don't remember. Light Neutral, yes. Fair, no, it's Fair Neutral, yes, Fair. <laughs> okay, so you know the drill, just blending all that stuff in with my Beauty Blender. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to set underneath my eyes so that the concealer does not crease into my fine lines. This is the NARS Pressed Crystal Powder. I believe that's what it's called. I will leave the real name down below. So I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'm going into Pegasus with this pencil brush by Makeup Geek. It's not called a pencil brush, but it looks like one. So I'm just going to apply this on the inner part of my eye on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Wisteria. And I'm going to apply this to the rest of my lash line, blending those two colors together. 
I'm gonna line my waterline and my tight line with NYX Gel Liner in Black. It's my favorite, you guys know. And then I'm going to take Corrupt one more time and I am just gonna blend everything together so that it doesn't look like I have like one harsh line on my waterline. I want it to be really, really smoky on the lower lash line. So I'm applying some of that black so it's not just completely colorful. It has that really pretty like blackness to it. <laughs> I'm applying mascara and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. All right, to finish off my face, I'm gonna take the Balm's Balm Desert Blush Slash Bronzer. It's supposed to be both. You can get this on the Balm's website. And I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks with a Delium Tools like tulip, shape, tulip shaped brush. I'm using this to contour and I'm also like applying it everywhere since it has kind of like a pink undertone. And then the blush I'm using on top of it is the Balm's Hot Mama. It's very similar to NARS's Orgasm. I'm not applying a highlight on top of it because it has that really pretty golden peachy sheen and I think it ties really nicely with this look. For my lips, I'm going to take this one by CoverGirl and it is called Honeyed Bloom. It's a really pretty baby pink. I think it goes well with these eyes too. So that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!